we're so close. <laughs> butt cheek clench, butt cheek clench. Please, please give me the circuits. <gasps> We've done it. We've done it. Oh, praise be to the DML gods. Oh. So you may be wondering, how the heck did we manage to get that leaderboard circus dragon with such a, well, relatively low Dragon's Delight score? And the answer is, on Monday, I was actually quite busy and I could not log into the game for about five and a half, six-ish hours. And as a result, this put me into a bracket of players that were less active than what I'm normally put into. Because if you didn't know, with Dragon's Delight events, the way that it works is, depending on whether you're VIP, non-VIP, or VIP level, etc., it puts you into a specific bracket. But if you log into the game immediately to start the event off, you actually get put into a select bracket of people, whereas later on, it's believed that you are put into a group of other people that haven't logged in immediately into the event. So that is the reason that we were successful in this Dragon's Delight event and of course we did have to log in for pretty much every single reset as well. We also got Mr. Pipe Dragon here, so that's two new dragons for us. But if you ever want to win the Dragon's Delight event, so give yourself the best chance possible, it's normally a better idea to wait a few hours and then start the event. You know, if you can log in just before the second reset comes on, collect all the points, that's probably the sweet spot for, you know, giving yourself better chances and not getting thrown into the same ranks as people that spend like a thousand dollars for every single event. So I am very, very pleased, especially since the circus is one of my favorite dragons. Actually, I'm so happy about that, but along with the Dragon's Delight event, of course, we've got the Whale Mart because it is a uh, Friday and the two deals that I took out of this were the Arena Gems and the Enchantment Tickets. I hate the fact that they're making Divine Materials more expensive these days, but hey ho, so we've got new Whale Mart stuff. I'm sure we'll have weekend events. We've got new Emerald Clan Wars event video tutorial stuff to watch as well because the official DML YouTube channel also posted it. And even though there's nothing too grand in it, we're gonna check it out anyway. We know that the next dragon of the week is going to be the Moon Rabbit Dragon. And we know that the next Bottomless Dungeon Reward Dragon is going to be this Royal Dragon. If you don't know who he is, he is an Earth, Energy and Shadow Epic Dragon that was released with the latest update as far as I am aware. But aside from all of that, we have so many things going on. We also have two new events that have just started as well. One of them is a chain breeding event for the ice cream dragon, as you can see, and the combo that you need to breed him is the Hornbill and the Salamander Dragon, and Mr. Hornbill. If you don't know who he is, he's actually the reward dragon from the brand new soul event that has also started today. So it's just event after event after event. Uh, it's gonna start getting really difficult to actually finish off all of these. But anyway, the Funny Feather solo event is the one that has started off today, and this is a regular solo event. Ten levels you have to progress through each level, and as you go you can get random rewards, gem rewards, food, gold, habitats, and mainly dragons. So, number four is a banana dragon, so if you don't have one, you can get a free one. The Level 8 reward being the brand new rare hyena dragon, which we saw in the Dragon's Delight event. Pretty cool dragon, shadow and fire. I quite like the elements, to be honest with you, although I'd have probably given him earth in there somewhere. But really cool dragon. But the coolest one of all is the level 10 reward, which is Mr. Hornbill. I've seen a few people saying he's very fugly. I can understand where you're coming from, but how dare you mock this beautiful creature of ceremony. How could you? I mean, the, the egg is um, the same as what I believe hornbills actually look like, but it is quite different to what the actual dragon is. It's all white and orangey, whereas he's mostly black. I guess the underside of him's white, so it makes sense. But I really want this dragon, even though this is another 10 day long event. We've just had Dragon's Delight events. I don't know what to do with myself anymore. But, you know, in typical solo event fashion, 
we have to collect gold, feed dragons, and catch creatures, which is uh, pretty simple. You know, you catch the creatures as they come along, collect gold, you just collect it as it comes up in your habitats. If you want to feed dragons, you go over to your dragons, open up little Aaron here, you feed him. It is that simple. And obviously, the earlier tiers and solo events are quite short, but the longer you go on, they will take longer and longer. Normally, tier 10 itself, or level 10, takes about two and a half days on average for people to complete. Uh, tier 9 take about a day to a day and a half, usually. So the last few tiers are the ones that are going to take the longest amount of time. And we would hope that this is also doable without gemming. They are normally 100% doable without it. But we will see. And of course, the sooner you finish off the event, the more time you're going to have to try and breed for that legendary ice cream. Not that we need to, because we've already got an ice cream dragon ourselves. But for the people that don't have them yet, at least there is an opportunity to get it, which I kind of like. The chain breeding events that they've been bringing out, I guess they're more so just like extras for people that don't have these dragons yet. Because for people like me, they're just sort of like, oh, it's another chain breeding event for a legendary I already have. Don't really care. But for the other guys, this is actually a really good opportunity. So, you know, that is the general gist with the solo event stuff and new in-game event stuff. Of course, we've still got the bottomless dungeon stuff to do. Can't do any more at the moment. I'm just grinding that final purple chest at the moment. But anyway, before I quickly move on, I do want to go through the weekly schedule properly. Because like I said, we've got the Moon Rabbit Dragon which it lists here with the parrots being plasma and tree, so get those ready if you want to breed the moon rabbit. Bottomless dungeon reward being royal, we have farming fanatic, gem spending event, crowded nursery, and of course we have the Emerald Wars event going on from July 15th to the 17th. And um, to be honest with you, it doesn't look incredibly interesting to me, but... We do have the new tutorial video that's been released by the official DML YouTube channel. So rather than just grinding enchantment fights, we will go and watch through this. But again, it's really, really simple. It's basically, there is a, a big tower, or there's a set of towers that you have to take over, take them over, get extra emeralds, beat the enemies. That is literally it. And you do it with these sort of arena style battles because you can choose from easy, medium or hard opponents. Although it does look like there's a couple of different multipliers going in to change it a little bit. So we will watch through with Andrus, our beautiful guide, guiding us through. So here it is. Greetings, Dragon Lord. Hello, Andrus. Welcome to the Emerald Wars tutorial. This exciting new clan event starts next Monday at 9 o'clock GMT and- So, make sure you remember that. It starts on Monday, 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. GMT. So that is GMT time, and normally we get new events at 1 p.m. for me, which is 12 GMT. So this starts in the morning when most clan events start. So keep that in mind if you want to be on it. And like other clan events, we run for four days. As in the clan siege, two clans compete against each other to reach a higher score than their rival and come out on top at the end of the event. Competing clans fight for control of five emerald mines. Controlled mines produce emeralds every minute and the ultimate goal is to have more emeralds than the rival clan at the end. So the only point, or the only thing you have to worry about in this event is rather than us getting clan points and beating the other clan, you are aiming to have more emeralds than the opposing clan. And there are these five towers, and you basically have to beat the other clan who also has their own towers to get. So you just take over the towers, generate as many emeralds as you possibly can, and you do that by winning fights. The end of the event. Each mine has its own specifications and restrictions. Mines with lower level restrictions produce fewer emeralds, while mines with higher level restrictions produce more. Clan leagues affect the emerald mine's production levels and the number of emeralds rewarded for winning a battle. So we did go through this in the little info stuff yesterday, I think it was, but basically what they're saying is that these five towers, you can see that it says stuff like level 30 max, level 40 max, level 100 max, the higher tier ones generate more emeralds, so the idea is to control every single one of them if you can, but ideally you want to be focusing on making sure that that level 100 max tower is the one that you finish off first. I'm not sure how this is going to work out for people that have really low level dragons but obviously if you've got max level dragons it's probably going to be 
easy as pie for you. Players increase their battle score by attacking mines and defeating opposing teams. Similar to arena fights, one opponent has to be chosen from among easy, medium or hard rivals. Defeating hard opponents this just looks a like the arena. battle score, but it's also more challenging. Once the opponent is chosen, the fight begins. Winning a fight will grant players emeralds in addition to increasing their battle score. Battle score is calculated based on the following parameters. So now they're talking about the difference between earning emeralds and increasing your battle score. So there is a, a battle score, but there is also an emerald portion to it here. And you can see that it says rewards for winning that battle was 2,700 emeralds. And along with just getting points for finishing the battles, you also get bonus points for a bunch of different stuff, like beating enemy dragons that are a higher level than you and stuff like that, which they're going to go through in a sec. Opponent difficulty. Enemy dragons level bonus. Where defeating opponent dragons that have higher levels is more rewarding. And third, the win streak bonus. Win the streaks. Each mine has its own battle score counter, and the clan that gets the highest combined battle score will control it. Every player has a maximum of 4 energy, and attacking a mine costs 1 energy. Did you hear that? The one with the highest combined battle score will take over a mine. So again, you are basically in direct competition with the enemy clan with this event, which is something that I kind of like, because currently with clan events it's just sort of like, you get points, they get points, beat each other based on points. But here, it's almost like you're sort of destroying their home and taking away everything that they love and own, um, which I kind of like. But along with that, we also have an energy bar, which is four energy per player. But a lot of factors could go into determining, you know, how many, how much energy you can get, revitalization tokens and things like that. Oh god, it gets more complicated. One energy is refilled every 60 minutes. If a dragon participates in a battle to control an emerald mine, it needs to rest for a certain amount of time before it can fight again in the emerald wars. However, these battle tired dragons can be revitalized. Revitalization tokens make it so your resting battle weary dragons are ready to go to battle right away. Re so did you hear that? If you want to take over one of the towers to beat up the enemies, when you do it, your dragon has to rest for a while. However, you can revitalize your dragon using special tokens or you can gem it, which means that basically if you want to gem it, you can just use your best dragons all the time. If not, then you will have to select a specific set of dragons to take over the mines for you. So there is quite a lot more strategy and we will probably get some use out of the lower level dragons, but if you've got like nine or eight level 100 fully enchanted dragons, it's not going to matter too much to you. Revitalization tokens keep the resting time and make your dragons ready for battle again immediately. Clan quests can be completed during the Emerald Wars to get clan experience points, clan coins, and revitalization tokens. Get ready for a So that is really, really important to remember. If you do regular clan events during the special Emerald Wars clan event stuff, you can get revitalization tokens and you get clan points for doing it. So you will still get clan points for doing the event, but Main thing is probably going to be those revitalization tokens, which means that you'll be able to use your best dragons all the time. Because you can see here that it shows that for each one of these quests we have a revitalization token, and using one of these will immediately take your dragon out of resting phase. So, it's really quite simple. If you want to take over a tower, use a dragon, beat them up, get bonus point score, overtake your opponents, and then you control it. And then if you want to bring that dragon back to do another fight to increase your fight score, use a revitalization token. And that is pretty much the entire gist of this event. So it's nothing very complicated and it just feels like doing arena fight, but you've got extra revitalization tokens to help you out in it. Apart from that, nothing really too different. The main thing is going to be, how can we get the most points using the bonus score that you can get from win streaks, using the bonus score that you can get from beating dragons that are a higher level than you. Time will tell, because that is going to be the main thing. Because what if you can take on the easy fights, but use dragons that are like 10 levels lower and get a super high bonus score? That might be interesting for us to find out, and that's something that we're going to have to play around with. But 
I hope that this all makes sense. Again, I highly recommend you go and watch through the tutorial by yourself as well. Oh my god, they have a million gems, if only we had that many. Ah, bless. Ah, bless. The thought of having so many gems is too appealing. But anyway, like I said, go and watch the video yourself with the tutorial. I hope that my explanation through it makes sense, but you know, Andrus does a good enough job by himself anyway of sort of explaining it, so you know, give it a run through. And uh, my god, there's so many events going on at the moment, I don't know how to feel. I'm happy that they're constantly updating the game with new stuff, but my god, I am going to be tired every week from this point onwards. But, you know, that's what we get, I suppose, for now. So, I'm going to leave you there for today. So, I hope you got the dragons that you wanted out of the Dragon's Delight. I uh, hope you got Gemini Alpha if you could. Uh, but hopefully, if not, you can get the Ice Cream Dragon, you can get the Hyena, you can get the Hornbill, you can get all the new dragons instead. Uh, I guess just pick which events you can do at this point, because if you're too busy to do all of them, just pick the events with the dragons that you like the most. I think that is going to be a good thing going forward, because for the average person, doing every single event, including Bottomless Dungeon, including Enchantment League, including Arena, probably not going to be doable for most people but i'm excited to see this new baby in the in the bottomless dungeon i better get it before the purple chest because i hate the purple chest but anyway for now thank you for joining me good luck and until next time i will see you then